What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Real Pastors Review. Uh, my name's Gary, and we probably have the most anticipated review of the year thus far today. And I'm just going to bring us right in. Welcome to our Spider-Man No Way Home non-spoiler review. We will be doing a spoiler review uh, very soon um, after this video, but this is our non-spoiler review. So... I would be remiss if I tried to stand here and talk about Spider-Man without my partner in crime, uh, the Spider-Man expert himself. So let's bring in Efren, uh, the other part here of Real Pastors. Efren, hello. How are you this morning, sir? I am doing good. Still, uh, you know, processing everything from last mm -hmm. night and my thoughts and uh, trying to figure out how to do the non-spoiler review. I know how I can do the spoiler review. Yeah. But this one, I'm like. How am I going to do this? You know, so, but, you know, we got to, we got to keep it to where we're not spoiling it for people. Go, they have to go see this movie. You have to, and you don't want this movie spoiled. Um, mm -hmm. You want, you want to experience this the best way possible on the big screen coming in blind. And basically the, we can't spoil it. So all we can say is it was a movie. It was about Spider-Man. <laughs> it had villains in it. Yeah. It was very good. Thanks for watching. <laughs> now I'll go over to our non-spoiler review and hit the like button. Thank you. Subscribe. Yeah. So we are in the non-spoiler review. Spoiler review. Gary, poor Gary said it backwards. I'm it's, sorry. It's yeah, been a long I, night for the man, guys. <laughs> yes. I, I'm pushing through. I have a sickness, but I'm but nevertheless, I'm here. Yeah, so. he's here. He's here. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some stuff we can say, um, and we'll definitely get our ratings and stuff up. Probably the non-spoiler review, I guess we'll just, you know, if you want to see our rating, check out this video. But... Um, yeah. But yeah, so I mean, this and it was we get last night. I'm sure you saw our right on theater reaction, um, so you kind of know where we're going with this. But um, but yeah, it, it's gonna be hard. Like, listen, here's what I say: Do not get on YouTube. Do not nope. Google. Do not nothing. Yeah. Everything like we look last night after the movie. Everything like they're spoiling every, the crap out of everything. People are yeah. taking video and screenshots of the movie theater screen, putting it online. Mm -hmm. Stay off of all of it if you do not want to get spoiled before you watch it. If and you don't, you do it at your own risk because you exactly. will be spoiled. And it's not even like clicking on the video. It's the people's thumbnails. Yeah. It's the YouTube shorts that just pop up. People, I don't know what is going on. People are just jerks. The world sucks. And yeah. um, people want to steal joy from you apparently. But stay mm -hmm. off of it. And just go see this movie. Um, so, after we get right into it, all right, uh, do a normal review. The good, I'll all just right, kick things off. So, the good for me, man. Like honestly, as I was um, thinking through this a little bit, um, like I was just kind of thinking of how, like I had my list, right? Mm -hmm. Like I had my list that I was like, I have got to have these things. And this, my list was, I want to see Peter Parker get pushed um, physically. I want to see him get pushed, like pushed to his limits. I want to see him get pushed to his limits emotionally. I want to see him get pushed to his limits in intellectually. Um, you know, because I was like, we had we barely seen this version of Spider Man use any science. You know, we saw a little bit with Toby. We saw a little bit with Andrew. And I'm like, I'm ready to see his genius of science come out to where he has to use every aspect of him. He has to use, you know, all of his emotions, all of his physical, and all of his mind. I want an intellectual. I want to see all of that, and I want to see it taken to a new level. And that's what I was saying last night in that at the interview is like, I got my list. I got it because if it wasn't, if they didn't have all three of those things, that's the thing. It could have had two out of three. It wouldn't have worked for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, I needed all three out of this movie to keep me on board. And it did. And, and I loved it. And, and I loved the, and I think they did a good job with the nostalgia factor. Like with, mm -hmm. like when we talked about with Ghostbusters, which if you haven't seen that review, go check that out. Um, but I thought they did well. It wasn't nostalgia for nostalgia's sakes. It wasn't like little, Easter eggs here and there. I think you mentioned that last night, Gary. It was like, it all made sense and it had a reason. Mm -hmm. And so it had that, it had the new action, it had the new direction, it made my list. Um, there was just so much good about it. It's hard to say beyond that, um, yeah. what happens without spoilers. Because there's just tons of spoilers, yeah. right? Like this movie is everything you wanted and more. Um, and so, yeah, so it was, I, I just, I really, really, was happy with it and I'm glad about it and I'm glad they did what they did. It was, it was long deserved and they did yeah. justice to the Spider-Man lore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't say it better myself. I mean, this is where Tom Holland went from spider boy slash iron boy to Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. He literally, I mean, he he stepped up. This was his, in my opinion, best performance as Peter Parker slash Spider Man. Um, he owned this movie, which is saying a lot. Um, mm-hmm. When when you, after you see this movie, it was just very impressive. Um, there's just so much good about this movie. The pacing, it's it's a long movie, but it did not feel long. Mm-hmm. Um, the story, uh, this group is growing up. And yep. and they they're forced to do it in this movie. This isn't him trying to make it back to a, to a homecoming dance. This isn't yeah. him being in Tony Stark's shadow. This is him being Spider Man and mm-hmm. dealing with the repercussions. Is that the right word? I don't know. Yeah, uh, of being Spider Man. And mm-hmm. one of the best lines in the movie, and and it's, it was in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. Doctor Strange says you're trying to be Peter Parker and Spider Man, and that's going to create issues. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole tone of the movie. And it was just done very well. I love the dynamic with him and Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, I loved, um, him and, um, uh, MJ, this was their best, you know, this was her best part in this movie, mm-hmm. um, in this series, I thought, yeah. um, cause she was kind of always just kind of there, you know, mm-hmm. um, but she, I can never pronounce her name. The actress's name is in and and you know, Zendaya, uh, maybe? Zendaya. Yeah. Something like She's that. terrific in a lot of stuff. She was great in the greatest showman. Um, and, uh, I thought she was okay in the first two Spider-Man, but she was really great in this mm-hmm. and that. You know, um, and and then uh, the you know we know from the trailers there's villains brought into this from other universes, and that was also handled incredibly well. This isn't um, Easter eggs. This isn't a little snapshot. Mm-hmm. They play a vital role in the movie, which I was very yeah. happy to see. And that was part of my checklist. Like was you know I didn't go into the Spider Man lore because I don't know it like you do, but I went it was like. Okay, will these guys, will these villains, will it just be like a hey, remember that, or will they be part of the movie? Actually, I mean, they were actually a part of the movie, and that I was very happy about that. Yeah, yeah, the villains made sense, um, and then that's what I really liked about them. It was like, how are they going to make it to where these villains like make sense in the story? Like, because mm-hmm. because it's like when you see, now granted, this is all I have to pull from, but normally when you see in classic cartoon Spider Man shows, right? When they did the multiverse stuff, and I say classic, I mean even early 2000s when they did a reiteration of the cartoon. Um, mm-hmm. They had villains just kind of show up when they did multiverse. Like, all right, here he is, fight him real quick and move on. Like yeah. It was just like like dropping him in, seeing a different version and moving on. And I was afraid that was the tone they were going to take with this with the villains. And they didn't. Like, they, got, they, they were pulled into this universe because of a reason. Yeah. And then when they were pulled in, like they had their own stakes. Like that was the thing. It was like, why are they so mad at Spider Man? Like why are like why is this stuff happening? Um, you know, and, and then I thought it was gonna be the typical, oh, this is a new world to conquer, which it wasn't necessarily that. Like they had other reasons yeah. on why they wanted to fight Spider Man and why these things were happening. And it made sense. And honestly, their motivation was a lot more heartfelt than I expect it to be. Like yeah. it wasn't like pulling at the heartstrings, but it had more heart. <clears throat> than I expected and how the whole thing was handled had a whole lot more heart. And, um, and I even think like, like going into like villains, like even you say with Zendaya and Ned and stuff, their whole dynamic was so much more heartfelt. Mm-hmm. And then, and then also a thing was like the way Spider-Man interacted with these villains was something that like his reasonings for what he did with these villains without trying to say too much was actually very Peter Parker comic book, classic Mm -hmm. cartoons which sometimes gets annoying um but it was like but we hadn't really seen this side of him yet like Mm -hmm. not like full force and you really got to see it here and i thought it was great um so i really like you said because you know my problem i felt spider-man this version has been very iron boy yeah has been very um you know he yeah he's spider-man but he's just kind of here but he's really like iron man's underling like and i was just like that's this isn't spider-man and with these villains with this story, he grew up. And mm-hmm. honestly, if this story didn't happen, I don't see how Spider-Man would have grown up. And and be, the, be Spider-Man, not Iron Boy, you know? And so, yeah. So, the villains and all that pushed him to the limits that I wanted him to be pushed. And it was great. Yeah. Yeah, and it was able to do all that. Have It had a darker tone. Um, mm-hmm. than the other two. Wow. I felt like the humor in this movie worked as well, um, yeah. which that is sometimes a gripe in the Marvel movies. Sometimes the humor is kind of forced in there just because it's kind yeah. of a trope of theirs. But I thought for the most part, the humor stuff worked too. Um, and the the villains weren't bad guys just for bad guys' sake. Right. You know? 
like you like you said they had they had a point they had a heart and um and i was thrilled with that it wasn't because you see that when i saw the trailer one of my concerns was it was going to be you know let's just bring all these people in here just so we can say we did it and, and it right. not make sense but you know fear not that was that did not happen in this movie thankfully yeah yeah and i was i was really glad about that i mean like even like look at this um yeah so like with that electro there like i just thought like even this look like i was excited again a little nostalgia like mm -hmm. if you um if you look right here you know like um, you have these this pointy thing from electro that's classic that they gave him mm -hmm. um so i really appreciated that and, and i like that they tried to like it was almost like hey we know we hadn't really stuck to our guns with um you know with spider-man and what he is and what he looks like and stuff like that but they i feel like they, they gave us enough to like yeah mm -hmm. like we know we at least know of the source material right like yeah at least we're gonna do something here so i was excited for that and then like and even another one that i thought was great was um and, and again this isn't a spoiler because they dropped a trailer f with that had this look um but you see uh, yeah but you see green goblin um you know and he has the more classic look he's hooded mm -hmm. you see the more purple and green that's um, cool so i thought that was cool and again they dropped a tv spot with this like with this look on it so i wasn't mm -hmm. like too you no know, worried about it i mean even the original trailer had a quick shot of him mm -hmm. uh, which the way he looks is nowhere has nothing to do with anything it's just <laughs> they made him look this way you know yeah um i mean there's a reason why he looks this way now instead of wearing his classic mask mm -hmm. um like from the original but like it's it's not a huge spoiler but anyways but like, i just love that they did this he looks more gobliny and yeah um and, and again william defoe a dude fantastic job yeah. i mean fantastic i mean all the villains did great but william defoe and, uh, um and doc Ock, uh what's his name alfred molina alfred molina i mean yeah. all, they stole the show they were they the did. two main guys um which i thought was fitting because they were the first two villains of of um you know for the original spider-man mm -hmm. that came out like from the first actual well there's an actual movie but no one remembers it because it's complete trash but like the first like good iteration of mm -hmm. spider-man mm -hmm. um and so it, it was fitting that they kind of stole the show on the villain side yeah um and so and then like we always said a hero is only as good as its villain mm -hmm. um and he had quite a bit and yeah. yeah so i was very glad to see this um shape up the way it did yeah, hats off to Jamie Foxx, William Defoe, and Alfred Molina. They weren't three actors going back to play dress up. They took this seriously. At first, when Jamie Foxx shows up, I thought, oh, that's just Jamie Foxx. Can be Jamie Foxx. Yes, but as it goes on, you realize, okay, he's really into this character. Mm -hmm. And they all did a phenomenal job. William Defoe, I mean, mm -hmm. it, <laughs> the guy is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and, and I love that they, they added to it, mm -hmm. right? Like they added to these characters from years ago. You know, yeah. with Goblin, you know, pretty mm -hmm. much, you know, Toby's villains that are all in there, which again, you saw on the post in the trailer, which mm -hmm. would be uh, Sandman, Goblin, Doc Ock. And then you saw Andrew's villains of <coughs> of, of Lizard and um, Lizard and Electro. Mm -hmm. They even took these villains a step further. Yeah. And that's what I appreciate. It's like they like I didn't think I didn't think they were going to come in and like extend their character, but they did. And they extended yeah. it. Almost in all of them, Sandman probably was the weakest. Um, yeah. You know, they extended it a little bit, but it was probably the weakest of the bunch. But um, and Lizard was kind of was kind of it, but like I could see they they were like there wasn't much to do with these two. Yeah. But it was still like they still extended them enough to where you got to learn a little bit more about them, which I thought was yeah, cool. yeah. They they were background, but they had something there. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Um. So I think we need to go ahead talk maybe if we have something bad to say about this, mm -hmm. rate it and then get on to our spoiler video because there's real I don't want to do this video to be too much longer because I don't want to actually spoil anything. <laughs> right. um, so yeah. is anything bad you can say about this movie? I mean, I mean, it, I know we're fresh uh, off seeing it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think I mean for me, most of the bad is like probably border like. I think some of it was like actual bad, but maybe borderline nitpick. Um, mm -hmm. I had mentioned it last night. A couple of things I didn't really care for was um, a little bit of of what happened with the villains. And like, and again, it's hard to say without spoiling, but there's a couple of decisions they made that, mm -hmm. that seemed very on the fly. And it mm -hmm. seemed like, 
okay, why did you why did you make that decision? Like that makes no sense. It was almost like the decision was just made so the plot could continue. Um, so for me, it felt like a little bit like okay, you're kind of rushing through this and just to get to like just to get the plot moving. It was it felt very MacGuffin, which to me was like you really have all this great writing around of what's happening. Like to me, it felt kind of lazy. Um, so like so like some of that stuff was kind of like uh, I don't really care for that. Um, and then. And, and again, some of the decisions even like Spider-Man made in it, um, it was just kind of like that, that was stupid. Like, why would you do that? Like, I, I'm not mm-hmm. expect. like, I know he's scrambling here, but mm-hmm. I don't expect him to make that stupid of a decision. Um, but I feel like some of that stuff was more at the beginning of the movie. Towards the end, mm-hmm. you really were able to see like his motivation. It's like, yeah, yeah I can see why he's doing that. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm like, some, there's like some bad, but like at the same yeah. time, it's almost nitpicky. So I'm kind of on that borderline. Yeah. Yeah, my thing on that was I think he was a little bit too trusting of these mm-hmm. supervillains, you know, that he did not know. Um, and I get his motivation, but it was very, you know, he, he wasn't guarded at all, you mm-hmm. know. And um, and that was kind of like, well, what, are you, what are you doing there? You need to yeah. kind of, you know. And, uh, and there was a kind of a quick switch with one of the characters. I wish there would have been maybe – 45 seconds or another minute to kind of build up on it. Cause it does happen quick, you know, yeah. and you have to kind of adjust quickly, but that's really my only gripe thus far. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I mean, other than that, I, I loved this movie. I really did. Yeah. Um, so we rating it in this video or our spoiler video. Uh, I said, we go ahead and rate it so people can see it, see our rating. And, okay. um, and then that way if they want to check the spoiler stuff later. They can. Gotcha. Okay. Well, so, I'm gonna let you go first since you're the spider guy. Yeah. So this is so this one's hard, um, because I've been so <coughs> I've been going back and forth. I will say this is the best Spider-Man of this trilogy. Mm-hmm. Um, like it, it, it blows the other two out of the water. Oh no! Um, doubt. no I, doubt. You know, I watched Homecoming the other night. Honestly, I didn't like it as much as I remember. Like, I remember like liking it, but not like mm-hmm. in being in love with it. Same with Far From Home. I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. Um, this one I really, really liked. Um, I thought they just did so much greatness with it. Um, like I said, I do have some nitpicks and stuff, which we'll get into in even my spoiler review of a couple things. I was kind of like, eh. Um, but it was like, it, it. this was probably... I mean, it was just, it was just really good, right? It was just really, really good. And then, oh man, it's just hard. I'm going back and forth between two, between two numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm just gonna have to go with four, four Hail Marys okay. here, man. Like this is, okay. this is really, really good. I love it. It's not like a masterpiece, um, but and, and I think this is the problem is like when I look at Spider Man Two, like Tobey Maguire Spider Man Two, that is like on the Mount Rushmore of comic book masterpieces mm-hmm. right up there with the dark Knight, um, mm-hmm. for me. Um, so it's just like, I don't think this makes the Mount Rushmore. That's why I can't give it a five, but gotcha. I give it a four because it's honestly, I think this might be the best movie in the MCU though. Gotcha. And okay. so like, and that, that's why I'm just like, I think it's the best movie in the MCU, but it's not on my Mount Rushmore of best comic book movies ever. So okay. that's why I give it the four. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to have to go five. All right. Um, I do feel, and I get what you're saying. I absolutely, I, uh, um, I haven't, I have to uh, watch all this. I'm going to at some point watch all the Spider-Mans over and over and over, uh, in order to rank them. And maybe that's the video for us later. Um, but I think this one, when it comes to the MCU, it's right up there with in game and infinity war for me mm-hmm. and Civil war. And I rated all those as a five. Maybe I just like everything too much. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this movie did everything I was hoping it would do. And it, it, it exceeded my expectations. So I felt like I would be remiss if I didn't give it the, mm-hmm. the highest rating possible. And, um, and so so there it is. He gives it a four. It gives it a five. Either way, great movie. It gets our recommendation. It'll be on both of our shelves after the movie last night. Oh, yeah. Everyone looked over at me and said, I'm buying the steel book. I said, I'm buying the steel book. The digi book. <laughs> The regular the VHS. I'm this. I will own this movie. Yeah. Um, and after you watch our spoiler video, you'll you'll probably understand why we love it so much. But uh, yeah, Efren gives it a four. I give it a five. Spider Man No Way Home. You did not disappoint. No, you did not. And go out and see it. After you see it, check out our spoiler review, which will mm-hmm. be on this channel as well, so we can talk a little bit more in depth. And we will love to hear in these comments of the no, of the no spoiler review what your thoughts were. 
go ahead and do that. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you know what else is coming and you won't miss out on any future videos. And then also uh, check out our spoiler review after yep. you watch the movie. Yep. We are swinging at this video and landing into our spoiler one. All right. See ya. See ya.